Afternoon, everybody. It's Romero17. I got bring you guys some ranked fights from season seven. The new season started, and uh, got some new uh, updates going on. Apparently, they added uh, Alexander the Great. They added Mackenzie Dern to buff Khabib a little bit. Nerf Connor Smidge because he's the poster boy. They ain't gonna do much to him. But uh, we're gonna do this bantamweight fight here. I got Dominic Cruz. This new MMA goon has the raging, angry Cody Garbrandt. Never changed, dude. And my goal here when I use Dominic Cruz, you know, one thing I like is that they finally fixed him to an extent. All right, guy, you're getting a little bit too wild. Let me take you down. But they fixed him in the sense that his straights are contextual, that special jab is also contextual. So you'll know what distance you have to be at if you want to use them. Whereas before it kind of came out at a random time. Let's see what he's trying to do here. Okay, I'll let him get that. But yeah, now Dominic is really viable. And I actually like him a little bit more than TJ because Dominic has the undeniable takedowns. Uh, not too sure if I'm going to Gandhi in this fight. But, uh, ooh, ooh, hold on. Hold on. Uh oh. I honestly feel that full guard pop. Oh, come on, I was almost full. I feel like full guard postured up is almost as dangerous as getting caught in freaking side control. So go back down and get up. All right. Player like MMA Goon, they're very trigger happy. Right there, he swift an entire jab up with a hook. But these are the type of pressure, the pressure fighters that you know they're just throwing everything just to hoping to get a rock. He's he's not. Players like this, they usually don't really make too good of reads. It's more like they're, they're striking just to like get something. So he's killing his stamina right here. And I want to hit him with his... Whoo! Got the double leg. I want to hit him with uh... His temporary stamina is low. I want to hit him to the body, but... Got here a stack guard here. So all today from... Body to head, but he manages to push me out from there. All right, cool. It's all good. Now look at his stamina already. He's whiffing these strikes. He's moving his head like a. Don't know why. He's being a little bit predictable with that combination, so I can evade it. And he's just hitting nothing but air, and his stamina is going down. It's wombo combo, but he's too close. I don't want him landing any strikes on my block. Slip straight. Yo, this guy's whiffing his strikes hard. He's trying to catch him with a hook. Alright, good head kick. Jab up with a hook. We actually duck the hook. Jab straight. And he's coming into these straights. It's going to do dealing a lot of damage to his head. Ho oh, ho, caught him there. Gonna take him down just to keep him off guard. Alright, that's three takedowns in this round of rock. Oh, no, buddy. Oh, come on, they didn't knock him out. Oh, come on, they didn't knock him out again. How much love do I need in this game? <laughs> Alright. Somehow in a dominant position, I lost all my stamina. Cool. Alright, that's an easy round for me. If you notice those takedowns I'm, get, I'm getting, they're not really the undeniable takedowns, but those are generally where you want to time takedowns, especially the double legs with good with good fighters. Though a lot of guys they try to get these takedowns, they'll just shoot them like right in front of their opponent where their opponent's throwing a combo, and then they get rocked by an uppercut. They're like, oh my god, grappling's broken. This, just no, you just gotta find your openings a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play with him. I'm just gonna dance a little bit. You, you'll be surprised the funny reactions you get out of dudes when uh, you start doing the Dominic special lunges. They start trying to move their head or whatever in similar fashion. They'll start throwing body kicks. Try to catch you. It's a great way to play with people psychologically. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, I used to do a 6 a combo. 58 strikes landed. He goes for a slip straight. I'm going to taunt you. Can you try beating me up and full guard postured up? Get up, son. 
He don't know what to do. He just wasted all his stamina. Now nah, I'm gonna get this double leg. Had I done that a little bit sooner, it would have been the undeniable takedown, but not like it mattered. Uh. Fun fact for those of you who don't know, if a guy has a stack guard, you can go to get up, and once you let go of L1, it'll go straight to stack guard. So it's a really helpful tip. I learned that from uh, Heem and Unibot. Oh, it's over. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> Yo, look how he shoves his legs off. Like, get off me, you whore. <laughs> he just like, shoves his legs off. All right, easy dub. Easy, easy dub. You think by now people will learn how to stop swinging mindlessly like that? But uh, cool. All right, 1,400 points. Oh man, yeah, of course I won that round. I don't know why I even bother checking, but okay. All right, let's get another fight in. Had to wait again. Ooh, full bar. I'm gonna go with Cruz. Again, I like Cruz more than TJ now. I wish TJ had a little bit more signature stuff. You know, he only has the signature special hook and obviously the movement there. But, you know, they could give TJ a little bit more love, give him a little bit of something, something. Dominic has all the special stuff, man. Also has that 97 switch stance, so he's good on both stances, as he should be. Footwork is pretty good. Power's an 88, so you gotta be real careful exchanging with him, but he's really solid. Like, Dominic, when you use him effectively, he's officially now a solid character. Like, before, it's it suck using him. Now, it's pretty damn dope. I have a nose stuffy. Dylan Dick, MMA fan, 5-2.5, five. I have one win over this dude, oh, okay, alright guy, skip this, I don't want to have a guy, that's, okay, okay, good, I was going to say something, <laughs> I swear, Alright, no glove touch. Whenever you want to use those lunges, you want to use it to the outside of the lead leg. And like right there, you try to go for the lead uppercut and I'll lunge to the outside of his lead leg. Especially with straight strikes. This guy's real aggressive. Ah, uh, see that needs to change. They can't have body shots like track you as you're lunging. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, he's, he's a little bit body horny. i have to put a stop to that. I don't think he knows that if you land body kicks from close range, they'll do, they don't do as much damage. I, I don't think he knows that. Let's get this takedown right here. Oh, I would have liked it if it was a double takedown, but okay. Let's take this dude's stat guard. Uh-uh. It's good to target the body when you're a stat guard because it'll kill the stamina and make it easier for you to die. Alright, it's gonna be over. Oh man, dude, transition. <laughs> Two straight stat guard wins. Alright, cool. But yeah, if you're a stat guard, target the body first. You know, try to kill her stamina so that way when you try to transition, it'll be a little bit easier. But yeah, alright. Took out TJ and Cody with Dom. Nice. Ooh, Rayville 717. I think this guy's pretty good. We've fought him three times before. I think he has a good uh, understanding of how to work, play the game and whatnot. Alright, so this time I got Habib. And Habib, if you guys are going to notice soon, he has a new jab. Like, he doesn't have that weird short range jab that didn't really work for anything. He has his, now his uh, Muhammad Ali jab, as he'd like to call it. So, his striking speed got buffed, his footwork got buffed, his, uh, power, no, no, his power didn't get buffed. Uh, just a lot of striking stuff got buffed for him. Accuracy got buffed. He had a terrible accuracy for some reason, but, alright, we'll go touch it up. Now, let's see if I can get an undeniable takedown on this dude right here. Because, you know, Khabib got that 97. Jab, jab. 
Not the take that I was looking for, but that works. Oh, we got back flat. No, I kind of need help from this position here. I don't know, like, what order of strikes to throw. So if anybody can comment your preferred way of kind of breaking the block when you're in back flat, by all means, tell me, because I love that information. And now it's going to be time. Anytime I see that little subtle animation change, I know they try to arm trap me. Oh, no, 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 no. So, that's the heel hook from bottom. You have to deny up like a get up. That's tricky. I like that. And I believe that, um, you know, if a guy goes for it and you escape from, like, the first stage, oh, he's going for it again. Could deny it. Shh. You escape from the first stage, it's like a free get up right there. So, submission attempt and a get up. And yeah, no, this guy's free. Alright, cool. I'm not too sure if he's going to want to throw any more kicks after what I just did, but we'll see. So keep my distance. I'll pressure him more with the striking in the second round. This I just want to make a few. Alright, alright, alright. He said, fuck that. I am not grappling with you today. Now nah, nah, we kid boxer. It's K1 in here. He's, he's a little bit scared to throw. Don't want to kill. I don't want to kill my stamina. He likes that lead body hook, rear hook to the head. Let's go. So for any strike that's forward moving, especially like body kicks, leg kicks, and even head kicks, you can hit an undeniable takedown if you have above 90 takedown offense. So, ah, oh, I thought I denied that. Oh well. So you can deny things like you can hit the undeniable takedowns on uh Superman punches, head kicks, body kicks. You can even do if you slip hooks, so you slip on uh, straight shots and whatnot. Like and you're within punching range, you can even hit it from there too, and it doesn't even have to be moving forward. So if you can really take the time to learn these undeniable takedowns, because they're really helpful, especially against guys who like to do the takedown counter guys who like to pre deny everything it's probably one of the best things about this game so far just gotta keep this dude guessing and, you know I, I'm really liking Habib now man he, he feels fast it's a little tricky go for the uppercut around to the body yeah, smack all right What I don't like is that there's a bug where it doesn't show the takedown on the. <laughs> Look at me go for it there. It doesn't show the takedown on the fight stats, which is weird. But eh, it is what it is. Now, this is way too for you, okay? you have... Wow, okay, Joe Rogan. His striking is way too amateur for you. All right. Wow, they got Joe Rogan commentary going on at Anthony Pettis' corner. All right, now let's let's show him how uh, amateur our striking is. Okay, relax. Hit him with that kinetic four piece. Ah, that's another thing I don't like. That's like the one problem, you know, like go shooting a double and then it contextually turns into a single leg. It's the worst thing. So if I get time or another uh, undeniable take that off a body kick or a leg kick, it'd be great. I want to get this guy on the ground. I don't think he feels so comfortable down there. Still lead uppercut. Whoo! He came with the heat! What was that? I was like, what? Jab, straight, lead hook, lead high kick? That was nasty. Okay. I'm about to steal that. That was nasty. I've never seen that. Oh, oh, got your ass right. Give me your leg. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. A lot of the combinations I like to throw, they're really based on interrupting my opponent's flow of motion. So if I see him leading off with something, oh, I could have got a take down there. If he likes to lead with uh, hooks, or he, I like to lead with a straight. If he's leading with a jab from real close range, I want to lead off with a, I want to lead off with a hook. Let's get another undeniable takedown. Let's go. 
So just make sure you don't become too predictable with your striking. You know, be, be ready to adapt for every situation. You know, if you rely too much on the jab, uppercut, hook, you know, it's only so far that combination is going to get you, you know? Alright, man, just to get out there. Ah, oh, forgive me for my nose is stuffy. Ooh, jab straight lead uppercut. Jab straight uppercut. <laughs> jab straight lead hook, real hook. And nobody expects to take that when they're rocked. Ah, uh, a valiant effort. And now it is time for me to smash you. Uh, I'm gonna get on chapter today. Okay. I don't know if Pettis has a triangle. I think Pettis has a has one. Like a, I think he has a triangle and uh. Oh wow! He denied that. Props to you. I believe Pettis has a two gate triangle, so I don't want to get caught in that, man. That sucks. That is the worst kind of freaking way to lose. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Alright. Aside from that little bit sap at the end there, I should be up to uh But yeah, back to striking. You know, you wanna uh you wanna like make sure that you don't become too predictable with the strikes that you lead with. And be aware of the, of the counters to the things that you throw. Right? So uh, everybody knows I like to do the jab lead hook. I remember Marshall was like the first guy to ever counter the jab lead hook that I throw with a pull straight. I like I've never seen anybody do it. He was like the first guy that I ever seen do that. So it forced me to like start throwing shots like lead hook. What the hell? Okay, it forced me to throw shots like lead hook straight and uh. What in the world? Dude, what? Oh, he's panicking. No, dude. Oh! Nah. Oh, no. Nah, no, we're not having that today. Wow, that was scary. But yeah, you can't be predictable with your striking. You, ca you cannot be predictable with your striking with patterns. That's an issue that I have, but you guys should get these wins today for ranked. I really appreciate I appreciate everybody that's watching my videos on my channel, you know. Like, share, comment, sus and subscribe. Check out the Ricky J Sports Tournament. I've been rolling that little tournament so you can watch me do work. Have a wonderful day, everybody.